Hi, in a recent video I was using the bandsaw and a couple of you saw the homemade bandsaw guides I was using and so uh, I thought I'd describe them a little bit more. Let's brave the cold weather outside and uh, go and get them. So here's the top guide in place and below it the um, top guide that I've replaced. As you can see that's got the cool blocks in it for adjustment and it's got the thrust bearing so that the blade uh, rides against the side of the bearing. And that's the main reason I changed it. I don't like the blade running on the edge of these. It tends to wear it out very quickly and uh, it's constantly replacing them. We're also making a homemade bandsaw at the time so that's where these came from I made them for that and uh, didn't need it in the end so I took it apart and I decided to put them onto this machine and this is a jet bandsaw uh, so hopefully jet have improved things since they came out with this the uh, the rod for the adjusting the height of the guides basically just clamps onto this with a bolt up through into this block. Uh, one thing I still need to do on here is put some method of holding the blade guard on because at the moment there's no blade guard above the guides and this is the sort of thing we need to go on there. So what I shall do, I haven't fitted the lower one on this bandsaw yet uh, that's the lower one so I'll take that back inside and take it apart and show you how I made it. Now I should start by saying that this was the very first set of guides I made and I never made any others they worked well enough and there are a few things that I've had to adjust on them to make them work um, and I really ought to make a new set so it looks a lot nicer but anyway this is it so we have ignore these holes that's the bolt that will attach it to the plate in the jet bandsaw on my homemade bandsaw these are two holes that went onto a rod at the side and it's made out of beech so it's quite uh, quite tough so the thrust bearing which is the big change on here is basically a bearing normal bearing it's I think the roller skate bearings that's held by this little nut and bolt and a few washers so the bolt goes through a slotted hole and the nut is held captive in this uh, shaped slot uh, just making doing it up easier just need the one tool bearing obviously putting a washer on the side uh, there should be another one on there I think that's uh, dropped out washer each side means that I can tighten that bolt up really tight uh, it's exactly the right size for the slot with the washers in there so I can tighten it up nice and tight it won't slide backwards in the slot so I can adjust it for the position of the blade back of the blade tighten it up and it's not moving anywhere but of course the the actual roller itself can go around nicely and back up the blade which of course is what it needs to do the um, guide bearings uh, I've changed from cool blocks to, to bearings and uh, as you can see I can move those from side to side not an awful lot but enough to squeeze up on the blade and uh, there we go that's better enough to adjust the blade by about I don't know 3 sixteenths of an inch I can move that across and they are made in a fairly easy way I've got barrel bolts here rather long ones so barrel bolt with the bearing on it, a washer, 
and in there is the nut always difficult to get those out there we go so a slotted hole at the front a circular hole for the nut that slides in there bolt bearing washer and that goes in from the front so just two of those repeated and that block is held onto the main block just by you may be able to see down there just a couple of screws so if I was making this again I'd make the whole thing the main block this side block all out of one piece of aluminium uh, get it machined up and then uh, put the fittings in exactly as I've done here hopefully that answers all the questions that you had